Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we're gonna to be talking about how to decorate with black. Halloween is quickly coming up and I thought it'd be really fun to show you how we decorate with our signature color. Black is, we literally have black in every single shade I think in our house. We love it. It's just such a great color to decorate with and so we wanted to load you up with ideas that you can use even if you don't wanna celebrate Halloween. I mean, we're gonna have Halloween decorations but today it's not gonna look like Halloween. It's just gonna be inspired by it. And so we're gonna give you some edgy uh, book recommendations. We're gonna decorate the coffee table and we're just gonna zhuzh up the house just a little bit. It's so much more fun to decorate with black. Let's do that. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. I hope that you have fun, you feel inspired, and we're just gonna have some laughs and enjoy ourselves today. So hit subscribe if you haven't already. Become one of our regular subscribers. We already blew through 300. Let's just go on to 350, 400. Let's just grow this community. It's amazing and you guys are awesome. And I don't know about you, but I am ready for some decorating fun. Cheers, let's go. Okay, so the first place that I wanna start is the coffee table. And uh, Jack's running around somewhere. He's gonna be back in just a minute. He's been helping me empty things out. When it comes to black, one of my favorite ways to use black is on the coffee table. Now, I already have a white marble table, so when I put black on it, it just really pops. And I just love that kind of high contrast. Of course, there's lots of ways that you can use black. You can put it with cream. You can honestly compare it with any color, but I just still love black and white with a little bit of some creaminess in there and a little bit of texture just to keep it, you know, interesting. So I'm gonna get started here. I've got a few things just laying about and uh, yeah, I'm gonna decorate this table out and see what we end up with. Hello. Hey there. I roped him in. That way I can use him to lift things. <laughs> hey. Hey, I have to have somebody to help me with the sofa. So. I'm more than a strong body. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> sense of humor. Mostly sense of humor. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? <laughs> we are decorating the table. I'm giving it a, a little once over with uh, the color black. You guys, I mean, what better combination is there than black oh, and white? I mean, come I on. It's so good. But I wanna be able to mix in some items that also have a little bit of a spooky feel since we have Halloween coming up. Great time of the year. I know. So much fun. I know. So I've got new books. Some of these you haven't even seen. Oh, cool. Yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so I've got this little guy. Oh, some I love sort that of like thing. fossil thing. Uh, then I also have this book, which is called Wild. <laughs> I like it when the books have like a meaning. <laughs> Just like someone I know. <laughs> I um I appreciate your suggestion. <laughs> I think we all need to be just a little bit wild in life. And I just loved the name of this book. I thought that was so pretty. And it is referring to wild animals. And it is an incredible this book. book. This book is loaded with I gorgeous images of horses caught in the, captured, like as in with the camera in the wild. <laughs> and it is spectacular. And folks, magical world. <laughs> Such a fun book. You know, I don't know if this one's still in print or not. So if you find it, you need to grab it because for a little while, I think it had actually gone out of print. But I just love Ken Folk's work. It's very edgy. It's very cool. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. very uh, sophisticated as well, I think and just super, super inspiring. But of course, you know, it's... The cover on this one is just... It's magical. So with a cover like that, you knew I had to have it. Oh. I mean, I had to have it. This is so <laughs> cool. Ah, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, you have to help, help me. Yeah, because it's one's huge. A big one. It's a huge book, but these are available on Amazon. And it's just absolutely spectacular. Okay, then I also have Alexander McQueen's book, which has like a python kind of cover That's on it. It's so cool. It's so cool. And uh, his work is definitely known for being very gothic. It's what I really love. I find it very, I think it's one of those, he was one of those designers that really just made you think. And I just really love his work. And it's very eccentric and gothic. And uh, I have like one of his bags and it's one of my favorite things that I own. And it's definitely just. Incredible. Yeah, 
just otherworldly. And then we've got Tom Ford. Wow, I mean, yeah. of course, of course. To be careful what page I open to. <laughs> Just giving careful. the explicit warning, as I do every single time, there is artistic uh, license being used in this, and uh, some pages are not internet appropriate. So he's amazing. I absolutely love this book. You guys have seen it open on my coffee table, so it's a really fun book. We might close it this time. I've had it open for a while, so I was thinking I might close it. If you guys follow my Fridays with V, a lot of times we go shopping in them, and we went to Home Goods that day, and I found this vase, and I know a lot of you ran out and tried to find it, so some of you have it, and some of us are still hoping that we'll come back out with these. There's actually, on our Facebook group, Inspired by V, there's entire groups of people that literally they run around trying to find these. Really? Yeah, and they'll post. They're like, hey, I'm at so-and-so in Cincinnati. They have two <gasps> right now. Well, if anybody sees another one, could you please buy it? And I will I will pay you and have you ship it to me, please, because I really want another yeah. one. Okay, so while I work a little bit on the other space, I'm gonna give Jack a task for this room. You're welcome. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> one of the things that I think really is a great way of adding black into your space is through art, of course, and uh, oh, God, I love these. These are amazing prints from our video sponsor. Thank you so much to Decenio for being our video sponsor and continually hooking up not only the House of Valentina, but all of our clients and all of our viewers with amazing art. You've got really affordable posters, you've got really affordable frames, and let's be honest, it doesn't really matter what color you wanna decorate, they have amazing art for every single color in the rainbow and just inspiring, don't you I think? Know, they have the most amazing stuff. Every time we get on there, I'm like, <gasps> yeah. we need another house just so I can put art in it. We literally just get on and just look at their gallery rooms that oh, they've yeah. got. So They're inspired so by that. inspiring. So if you want lots of art ideas, affordable art that you're just gonna absolutely love, uh, and frames and matting as well. Oh yeah. Decenio is our go-to source for a reason. It's just amazing. Yeah. So uh, they, haven't they given us a discount code? They have. Go to decenio.com and use the code House of Valentina for 45% off of prints. But I think that is an incredible savings because the artwork is already really affordable as it is. So an extra 45% off is a huge deal. So I will make sure to leave all the details down below in the show notes. So I'm actually going to pull a little play out of my own playbook and add a little bit of black into the room using art. And I think this time I'm actually gonna do double fold tips here. And I'm going to use the same print twice, and then I'm gonna double that. Ooh, I know, she's living on the edge. Let's see, how do we wanna do it? Like this? Like that. And yeah, then and then this up here? That up there. Yeah, and we're just gonna take that height way up. Okay, and just kind of fill out that wall. Let's take it up high. Like up there? Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay. So what we've done is we've increased the height of this wall. We've filled it out with this gorgeous art, and it's just gonna play off of all the elements that you are feeling as you enter into that room. I know, I'm tricky. I know, I love but that. But we're having fun today, aren't we? I'm having so much fun. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go work on this room, and I'll oh let goodness. you hang this. Okay, yes. thank you, love. So right now, I'm playing with contrast. I'm using black to create contrast by giving this a shock black against white. I am softening it by adding some of these sort of beigey tones, something that's kind of rustic, and a little bit of sort of a creaminess. These kind of break it up just a little bit, and I'll have to kind of zhuzh this around a little bit because I want to think about how the eye sees everything and how these elements kind of create that sort of triangle where your eye is just kind of moving and reading that space. Then, what if we play black against black? That's what I think we're gonna do on the fireplace. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, so I really think that when you think about the idea of decorating with black, one thing that I think a lot of people overlook, and it's actually a really nice tool that you can use, is to actually put black on black. Because what it does is it gives you depth, it gives you texture, but it doesn't give you a lot of visual noise. So I'm actually going to put 
my handy dandy assistant here, <laughs> is handing me this beautiful sculptural piece. And I think that what this will do is it'll give the eye something a little bit interesting so it doesn't feel too empty. I'm not opposed to a very minimal look. It's something that I personally just really, really love. So you could just leave it empty, but I think adding a little something up there will also be a bit of fun. And Jack's off camera sniffing the candle like. <laughs> this smells amazing. So this is the Apotech candle. And so I want to have a little bit of a glow up here and I'm very purposely leaving the label that's on there. I'm going to leave those words out so that there's a little bit of something up there. I know that's a tiny micro thing to do, but I think it does make a difference. The other thing that I like to do when I'm decorating with black is I like to think about the lighting. And I think about lighting in a lot of different ways. I think about light bulb lighting, but I also think about candlelight. So, and the fire. I think it's finally cool enough. We're in the 50s here, so it may be cool enough to put the fire on just for a few minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna light the candles and I'm gonna give this black a glow. And I think that's one of the things is that a lot of times people feel like black is a color they don't know how to decorate with because it's too sharp, when in fact, it actually looks amazing when you have it lit with beautiful overhead lighting. We're gonna switch out the lamps, I think, in here. I'll show you that in just a minute. And also candlelight. Okay, so one of the things you can can do with black is that you can also mix it with different kinds of metals. That's the genius of the color black is that it literally goes with every color of metal. So I've had gold in here for a little while. I'm actually gonna switch these out because I want it to feel a little bit darker and kind of, I don't know, that sort of spookiness that I'm wanting to achieve in here. So I'm actually gonna switch the gold out of here. But you can use gold, chrome, uh, all different kinds, all shades of brass. You can use literally any color goes with black. Now, if you wanna play contrast, a brass contrasts really nicely. But since I haven't got a lot of brass in the space right now, I'm gonna take the brass out. Now, another thing that I'm doing in here is that I'm actually putting black with brown. I know, I'm a crazy lady. Any of you grow up hearing that you can't put black and brown together? I know, I did for sure. Well, the truth is, is that black and brown look amazing together. And especially if you go with a really rich, black color. This was a little bit helpful because the pillow did come with that pattern and so it does make it a little bit easier when they've already done the mixing for me. Uh, these are now sold out, but I'll try to leave something similar linked up for you guys. Uh, but yeah, I love to buy cushions at H&M Home. But I think that you can also use black in lots of different textures. And that's where I think when you're decorating with black, a lot of times people forget that actually black comes in all different forms. It can, I have it in wood in here. I'll show you that in a few minutes. I've got it in the boucle, which Louie apparently loves to sit on, so I apologize. Uh, boucle, we've got the smoothness of the vase. We've got the linen feel of the books. We've even got this rustic feel here with the candlestick. I mean, you can really mix your textures when you're decorating with black. That way it doesn't feel single noted. You just layer and layer and layer with it and it is magical. Okay, I'm gonna move this around a little bit. Another way to use black is to bring in accent pieces of furniture. And right now we're bringing in the console table and setting it behind the sofa. So that will give me a little bit of contrast here. Same with using that black wood right next to this white sofa. We're playing with contrast and we're using furniture to just add that sort of depth of the color being used in the space. It only weighs like a million pounds. Well, it does. <laughs> it does weigh a lot, but it does add a lot of texture. And you can see how we layer all sorts of textures into the space not just in black, but in that opposing white color. Uh, here I've even got this linen pillow that's a little bit creamier and how I'm really just playing with there's this room, even though there's so much black, there's also lots of layers of whites and creams as well and lots of texture. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, me too. It's so good. Okay, so over here, because I have so much going on with all of these pillows. What I'm going to do, not only am I gonna get a lint roller because I can see the dogs for everywhere, it's making me crazy, but the other thing I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to keep what's sitting back here really simple. That's my personal style. I don't like to have too 
too many things out. However, I do like to have quite a lot of things. So it's a way of actually hiding your things in plain sight. Again, going back to the idea of either playing with contrast or by silencing items. So I've got this incredible magazine. I bought this like literally ages ago. I don't even know if they even make these anymore. It's this beautiful editorial style uh, magazine that is like almost like a book. So I'm gonna put that here. And that just brings in a little bit of white over here, which just kind of plays in just a little bit. But then I'm gonna bring in the Kate Moss book. This is one of my absolute favorites. If you want a black book, I highly recommend this. I will tell you that some of this is nude, 100% <laughs> nude. Uh, but her work is edgy and inspiring and I, absolutely love it. So if you are a fellow editorial lover, if you love things that are edgy, you will love this book. And it looks fantastic sitting back here on this table. Another one that's maybe a little less edgy, actually it's a lot less edgy, is In Vogue. And this one is actually all about the story of Vogue and the history and it's, yeah, a lot more tame. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really beautiful. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot in here that's absolutely amazing and inspiring, and it's good to have some black books. I love how graphic this title is. It's all those little details that really just give you that sort of sharp pop when you're decorating with black. And then other times I'm playing the softest, softest side of it. So think about whether you want that sharp contrast, if you want the edginess, or if you wanna play the softer side. You'll want to soften everything you're doing and really add a lot of texture. And uh, one of the other things we haven't talked about is the fact that we have white walls while we're decorating with black. So that is another key element that you have to think about. I have rooms that are black, and I put black on black in those rooms, black walls with black furnishings. And then you can also play with white walls with black as well. And it's just all so much fun. I feel like the possibilities with the color black are absolutely endless. And I know the, the one question you guys are going to ask me is what are my colors in here? I'm gonna leave all the colors for this room down below, but you can also watch my my home's paint video where I go through the entire house and I share my paint colors for the entire house because I've got black in the laundry room and the powder room, I've got it in my office, so it'll give you lots of suggestions. Kitchen, I'm just noticing a theme. I have a thing for the color black and I, I don't think I realize like that is a pillar of my personal style that I don't know why. I do not know why, but I did not realize how obsessed I am with it, but I just love it. So I've got one little bit more to show with you and I can't wait to show this to you. Come on, let's go look over here. So as promised, I wanted to show you this side of the room because I have just gotten in these beautiful, beautiful cabinets and they really bring the wow factor over to this side of the room that I have been craving for years. I'm so excited. I previously had some really beautiful white cabinets from Ikea, but you know, they really just started to wear out from use and everyone's been asking me where the stuff went. We have lots of storage in other places around the house. So I have relocated the things that I didn't want to look at all day long and given myself something just utterly spectacular. And it also really balances out that really tall fireplace, really tall fireplace on the other side. Now I have really brought in all those different tips and tricks for using black on this side as well. I've mixed up lots of different textures in this space and I love, I, first of all, I've got wood in here. I'm using lots of different textures of black itself. I've got the black wood. I've got this incredible vase. You guys know this is one of my favorite pieces. You guys have got this one on back order, okay? It's literally one of the best pieces. It looks like it's got snake on it. Oh, I love it so much. But I love the fact that I've got black on black here, and then I've got the white on black, I've got some gray, I've got some texture, I've got some green, and I've really had a lot of fun using all those different elements of mixing up with black. Let's finish up this room.
right, well, there you go, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and got lots of tips and tricks on how to use the color black in your home. I, if you haven't tried using the color black in your home, I hope that today's video will just encourage you to give it a try. We absolutely love it, and it's just a lot of fun for us. So. I love this room right now. I, I know, love- it's so cozy, isn't Oh my it? gosh, and it feels- uh, Edgy and kind of cool. Feels edgy and cool, a little spooky. I love, I love it. it. I love it. I love it. So we are set for our, up I mean, we're just so bad. We're like, why do fall? Let's just do Halloween. Let's just do Halloween. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> so much more fun. So we hope we've inspired you and given you lots of tips and tricks. And we hope that you'll hit subscribe and hang out with us and come back for more. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to check out the discount code down in the show notes. Ooh, yeah. And if you're looking for any of the items that we feature in the space, we always include those down below, including what we're wearing. Because you guys ask us a lot of times what yes. we're wearing. We do include that down below, but you also may want to check out our fashion channel. And that's where I've been showing what I'm wearing. We talk about trends, what's in, what's out, what looks good, what doesn't, outfit ideas. We've got it all. And you guys are you guys are so far loving that channel, and so make sure you check it out, and it's all linked down below. I'll have to see. So I guess that's it, isn't it? I can't think that's it. Okay, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. I realize okay. I don't have a, oh. I don't have a coffee. Drinking my coffee alone. <laughs>